Hello. Good morning. My name is Adam Smith, calling from NobelPrize.org. Am I speaking with Louise Gluck? Yes, but are we being recorded? Because I really can't do this. I promise it won't be anything onerous. Would you mind if we recorded just two or three minutes? I don't mind, but I, I really have to have some coffee and something right now. Two minutes. Uh, You're very kind. Thank you very much indeed. Um, in that two minutes, could I ask you um, what the award of the Nobel Prize means to you? I have no idea. Um, my first thought was, I won't have any friends because most of my friends are writers. But then I thought, no, they, that won't happen. Um, uh, it's too new, you know. I I don't know really what it means, and I I don't know whether. I mean, it's a great honor, and then of course I. The recipients I don't admire, but then I think of the ones that I do, and some very recent. Um, I think practically, uh, I wanted to buy another house in Ver a house in Vermont. I have a condo in Cambridge, and I thought, well, I can buy a house now. <laughs> yes. um, but. Um, mostly, I I am concerned for the preservation of daily life in with people I love. Can be an intrusion, all this it's attention. Disruptive, it's ringing all the time. It's ringing now, squeaking into my ear. I fully understand. Yes, for those who are unfamiliar with your work, would you um, rec <laughs> would you recommend a place for them to start? something that's most characteristic, perhaps? There isn't, because the books are very different one from another. I would suggest that they not read my first book um, unless they want to feel contempt. But everything after that, I think, some interest. I, I like my recent work. I would say Averno would be a place to start, or my last book, Faithful and Virtuous Night. There's so much focus at the moment on the, the value of lived experience. It's, it comes up all the time. How, how important do you think lived experience is to be able to talk about events? Oh, heavens. <laughs> I, it's too, that's too big and, and, and it's too early here. Oh, it's barely seven o'clock. <laughs> Uh, it, I'm it's, sure there are things to say, and I'm sure I would have ideas. But, well, it's so, uh, it's so much a feature of your own writing that I wondered whether you would. But th we could talk about it another time. Is the t two minutes over? <laughs> it is, yes. You've suffered enough. I'm sorry. Thank you, and congratulations again. Thank you.